The following video shows a Desmi service engineer as he overhauls the Desmi NSL centrifugal pump in monoblock design. For the overhaul, the engineer uses a genuine Desmi spare parts kit. We'll go through the overhaul step by step by disassembling the pump and replacing gaskets, sealing units and bearings before completing the overhaul by reassembling the pump. When making a service and overhaul on a Desmi pump, we recommend that you study the manual before starting. Manual and spare parts kits are available at www.desmi.com slash aftersales. Make sure you have the necessary tools and the spare parts kit at hand. All the needed parts are included in the spare parts kit and on the rear side, an item list for all parts is shown. A list of the pumps which are covered by the spare parts kit is also included. On the rear side, a QR code is shown. When scanning the code, enter the www.desmi.com slash aftersale section where manuals, overhaul videos, spare part kits, etc. are publicized. Using Desmi Genuine Spare Parts Kit makes it easy, convenient and trouble-free for you to overhaul your Desmi pumps. Initially, the pump has to be dismantled. Remove the guards. Dismantle the copper pipe. Remove the Allen screws and pull off the motor bracket with electric motor. Loosen the pointed screw and remove the coupling. Lift up the unit with the impeller from the pump casing. Remove the O-ring from the shaft seal cover. Remove nut and washers. Pull off the impeller. Remove the spring and sunk key. Remove the rotating part of the mechanical shaft seal. Now remove the allen screws and pull out the shaft with bearing cover. Remove the bearing cover. Before dismantling the bearing, remove the ring lock. Pull off the bearing. Remove the support disc. Push out the stationary part of the mechanical seal and water deflector.
clean the pump shaft with degreaser. Check the shaft for damages. Put the support disc in place. Using an induction heater or the like, heat up the bearing to 100 to 110 degrees centigrade. Insert the bearing and press up against the support disc. And fit the ring lock. Clean the shaft seal cover and check the seat for flatness and cracks. It's important to ensure that all parts are properly cleaned. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft. Assemble the bearing cover and shaft seal cover. Place the conical bush on the shaft to prevent the rubber bellows from being damaged during mounting. Lubricate the water deflector with soap or soapy water and push it onto the shaft. Push until it touches the cover and then a further one to one and a half millimeters. Unpack the mechanical seal and clean the sliding surface with alcohol. Be careful not to touch it after cleaning. Lubricate the outer rubber ring with soap or soapy water. Now press the seat into place and check that all parts are correctly embedded. Clean the sliding surface of the mechanical seal's rotating part. Lubricate the inner surface of the slide ring rubber bellows with soapy water. And push it over the shaft. Remove the conical bush. Place the spring. Fit the sunk key in the shaft. Lubricate the shaft end. And lead the impeller towards the shoulder of the shaft. Take care that the ring at the end of the shaft seal spring locates in the recess of the impeller. Secure the impeller with washers and nut. Lubricate the O-ring groove with a little grease. However, check the material of the O-ring first. As standard, the material is nitrile, but it might be EPDM, which will be damaged by mineral grease. Use soft soap or silicone grease for EPDM. Assemble the impeller unit and the pump casing. 
Insert the sunk key and lubricate the shaft end. Fit and fasten the coupling. Lubricate the motor shaft and fit and fasten the shaft steel cover and motor bracket mounted with the electric motor in the pump casing. Fit the copper pipe so that it tightens. Finally, mount the guards and the overhaul is now complete.